It's not like I go to the grocery store and I think, oh, what mosaic tesserae or substrates can I find today? But you know, sometimes I do stumble on things and I'm like, dang, this would be a great mosaic tesserae or substrate. To get our grocery run going, we're gonna start with tesserae. And as you can probably imagine, the list for tesserae is definitely shorter than the list for substrates. And wait until you see that list. What I noticed though, is that you'll usually be paying a higher premium when buying these types of items at the grocery store. Keep in mind, you wanna look for glass and ceramic containers when it comes to these types of foods and liquids. Let's get to it. Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects. All to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. Who knew the grocery store was a place that we could shop for mosaic tesserae and substrates? And as you can tell from the title of this video, we're thinking out of the box today as far as how we secure the mosaic tesserae and substrates to use in our work. So not only is this video coming out during Earth Month, but I also hope that it shows how accessible mosaic tesserae and substrates can be when you approach the mosaic art form from a different perspective. So doing a grocery run is about to get a lot more fun. It's not like I go to the grocery store and I think, oh, what mosaic tesserae or substrates can I find today? But you know, sometimes I do stumble on things and I'm like, dang, this would be a great mosaic tesserae or substrate. Just got to consume what's inside, clean it up and use it. And I get it. When you go to the grocery store, the last thing on your mind is, what can I find to use in my artwork? It's more like, hmm, what sounds good for dinner? But believe it or not, there are lots of mosaic tesserae and substrate options at the grocery store. Some of them you may even purchase and consume. You just haven't thought of them in a different way for your mosaic work. Now, before we get too deep into this video, let's first establish what is considered a grocery store so that we have a starting off point or a baseline. Grocery stores are the local stores where you primarily do your food shopping. This does not include big box stores like Walmart and Target. I'm not throwing any shade, but let's be honest, there are lots of tesserae and substrate options at a Walmart or a Target. So you should be able to find something there. We're not talking about them today. So what I consider a grocery store is their main purpose is to sell food. Here in the States, these types of store brands would include Publix, Whole Foods, Safeway, Fresh Market, Trader Joe's, King Supers, and Sprouts, just to name a few. So in today's video, let's explore the aisles of our local grocery stores to see what we can find for use in our mosaic work. I think you're gonna be surprised at what we find, at least I hope you are. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. To get our grocery run going, we're gonna start with tesserae, and as you can probably imagine, the list for tesserae is definitely shorter than the list for substrates, and wait until you see that list. But when it comes to tesserae, these things are more specific than substrates, and it has nothing to do with us being hard to please mosaic artists or picky. We're creative and we know how we can work with what we have. But really it's a matter of there just aren't as many tesserae options as there are substrate options at the grocery store. Lots and lots of things at the grocery store can be used as substrates, but that's not the same for tesserae. But I do have a favorite tesserae option and I'll let you know when we get to it, so let's dive right in. The first tesserae option is plates, bowls, mugs, and drinking glasses. I noticed that a few of the grocery stores I visited for this video had a kitchen section which includes plates, bowls, mugs, plus other stuff like silverware, kitchen gadgets, that kind of stuff. 
Some of the plates, bowls, and mugs are solid colored, or they may include some sort of design or graphic image, and even words. And of course, there's also a chance that you might find a licensed brand. Oh, hello, Golden Girls. What I noticed, though, is that you'll usually be paying a higher premium when buying these types of items at the grocery store. But still, it's always worth checking out this section if your store has one. Sometimes you can find a graphic you really like, or maybe it's a plate with fun words or pretty letters with a font you haven't been able to find anywhere else. And of course, you can always hope for a sale, although this type of stuff rarely gets discounted at the grocery store. The next tesserae option is colored glass and ceramic jars, containers, and bottles. These can be broken down into smaller tesserae, but be careful with this group, and here's why. Sometimes a bottle can look like it's colored or have a graphic print, but in actuality, it's a label that goes all the way around the entire bottle or jar. So this is sort of like what you might see on cars or buses, which look like they're wrapped in graphics. It's the same concept, and you want to avoid them. It's just a plastic wrapping, and it's not actually the design that's on the bottle or jar. The aisles to check out for colored glass items is the wine section, drinks and water, and the condiments aisle for things like sauces, oils, jellies, vinegars, jarred fruits and vegetables, and dressings. Look for colored glass, which would be fun to use in a mosaic, and don't be scared away by textured glass. Those can be really fun to incorporate into your mosaic as well. It's worth saying that you should thoroughly clean these out first before you use them meaning hand washing, or even better, my personal favorite, put them in the dishwasher to get them super clean and sanitized before you use them in your mosaic art. And you'll want to remove any labels first by soaking or peeling them off before you wash them or put them in the dishwasher for sanitizing. Another grocery store tesserae option, and it's my favorite, because of the colors and the cuteness are these really sweet and super delicious terracotta yogurt pots. They're glazed terracotta and come in lots of fun colors. You can break them down using tile nippers or wheeled glass nippers. The walls are thin enough that it makes breaking and nipping pretty easy. I noticed last year around the Christmas holidays, they even offered a limited edition rose gold color, which was really pretty. It's this one right here. And then in March, I noticed that they came out with this glazed brown. It kind of looks like terracotta, but it's this beautiful brownish terracotta color, but it's glazed. In a pinch, always check the dairy section for ceramic and glass containers. You never know what you're going to find. There are so many substrate options at the grocery store, which sort of falls right in line with what we already know as mosaic artists, which is we can pretty much tile on anything within reason. Let's start with the kitchen section at your grocery store. Here you'll find plates and bowls. Yes, you can tile on ceramic, as well as wood chargers. In this section, you might also find things like mason jars or canning jars, as well as glass canisters. These make great mosaic substrates. You could cover a canister in glass for a glass-on-glass -glass storage solution for your creative space or kitchen, or you could make a set to give as a gift. Another section to check out is the floral department. Here you'll find all sorts of glass and ceramic vases and containers. Yes, you can adhere your mosaic to these types of substrates as well. If you aren't sure how to mosaic on glass substrates, I've done a few videos here on my channel on how to mosaic on clear glass substrates using colorful vitreous glass tile. And I'll include a link to both videos down below in the description so you can check them out. 
You can access this information if you're watching on your desktop computer by clicking more under the video description. And if you're watching on your tablet or smartphone, you can click more under the video title. Another area in the grocery store to look for is the candle section. You can find some really cute candle substrate shapes. So burn the candle, clean it out thoroughly, and then adhere your mosaic art to the substrate. For adhesive ideas on a glass substrate, check out the videos I just referenced a moment ago about the mosaic glass on glass projects. Something to keep in mind when it comes to the candles. If the glass candle container has some detail that you'd like to remain exposed, that's fine. You can just tile around it or up to it, and then you can grout or not after you're done. Another surprising section at the grocery store that you should definitely check out for substrates is the wellness or vitamins aisle. I found glass jars and containers for salt and sugar scrubs, bath salts, and of course, vitamin bottles. These would make fun bud vases or pretty containers for paper clips or rubber bands or your desk or a place to put pocket change on your dresser. The next group of items is somewhat similar and they're found throughout the grocery store. These items include things like wine bottles, sauce bottles, olive oil and vinegar bottles, salad dressing bottles, drink and water bottles, jelly jars, jarred fruits and veggies, and glass or terracotta yogurt containers. And just like we discussed with the previous items, these would make fun bud vases and pretty containers for your desk, dresser, or coffee table. Keep in mind, you want to look for glass and ceramic containers when it comes to these types of foods and liquids. And once you're done with them, remove the labels and either hand wash or my personal favorite, Run them through the dishwasher first. Get them as clean and sanitized as possible before you use them in your mosaic work. Look for bottles, jars, and containers that would be easy to mosaic. So I'm talking about shapes like cylinders, squares, and rectangles, which are pretty straightforward. You might even find an oblong shape, which could be relatively easy to work with. It's when you get into the more fancy or exaggerated shapes where tiling could become more of a frustrating challenge. And we don't want that, do we? So, you may be wondering, what about plastic substrates? So here's my take on that. You want to avoid plastics. Yes, some plastics can be used in mosaics. They are hard plastics. They did not have food in them. When it comes to food and plastic, I say no, no go. And that is because you can never truly get the smell of food out of plastic. If you use a plastic substrate and let's say it had bath salts in it and they smelled like roses or the ocean or you know something like that that's a pleasant smell, Yes, you're going to clean it out before you use it in your mosaic work. It's still going to have a scent of rose or a scent of the ocean. But those scents are much more pleasant when you're on your coffee table, when it's on your desk. It's not going to be good if you are using, you know, a plastic container that had pickles in it. It's going to seem very strange that it smells like pickles on your coffee table or on your desk. You don't want that. So when it comes to plastics where food was stored in them, I say no go when it comes to using them in your mosaic work. Quite simply, it's difficult, sometimes impossible, to get certain food smells out of a plastic container. It's just you just can't fully get it clean. So if you do decide that you're going to use plastics from the grocery store and it had something like bath salts in it or whatever, one test is to squeeze it. Can you dent it with your hands? If you can't, okay. If you can, don't use it. 
The reason is the container has to be able to hold your artwork and maybe it can hold up your artwork, but when you go to pick it up or you accidentally squeeze it because you forget that it's a flexible plastic, you're going to dent, crack your grout and possibly loosen or pop off the tesserae that are also on there. So you don't want to go with a plastic that you can dent or bend or disfigure. You want to choose a hard plastic that you absolutely cannot dent with your hands. And I'm, I'm just using your hands as the example because that's some strength there. So let's avoid that and stick with hard substrates that we are familiar with, which is glass, ceramic, terracotta. You may even be wondering about metal. Metal is acceptable. So that could be things like canned veggies. Um, if you go in the spice section, sometimes they sell pepper and certain spices. I, I'm thinking about the old McCormick spices, how they were in a little uh, tin box. Those also work. Gotta make sure we're plugged in. Oh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. You know, sometimes things flow and sometimes I stumble, right? That's life. We stumble sometimes. So anyways, what can you do? Nope, nope, nope. That's not going to go. Nope. I can hear a siren. Is he coming down my street? Come on, girl. You, you can do this. You can do this. Yes, you can. No, he is not coming down my street. Okay. Well, that's good. Anyways, I'll talk to you soon. And what I should have said was, let me know if you've got a favorite tesserae or substrate item that you like to get at the grocery store that maybe I didn't mention or that you've had success with. I would love to hear if you've like, you know, reused, repurposed some of this stuff, you know, keep it out of the landfill, right? But if you've repurposed stuff, I would love to hear. And you can either reply down below in the comments or tag me on Instagram and show me what you've made. I would love to see what you've done. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. For more Mosaic inspiration, check out one of these two videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.